Hi, my name's Jenny and we're here at Wimbledon Village Stables and today we're going to be looking at the different aspects of horse riding and horse care. First of all, what you need to think about is the daily routine for your horse's feet. Before you ride them, when they come in from the field at night, at least twice a day they should have their feet hooked out. This re means removing any dirt or stones from their feet that could cause them damage when they're walking. So to do that, you approach the horse from his head, make sure he's tied up securely. Don't just attack his feet because some horses don't like having their feet touched and can lash out at you. So always make sure, even if you know the horse really well, to start at his head, run your hand down the side of his body and then run your hand down the back of his leg. A well-trained horse should just pick up his foot. You can see here, this is the sensitive part of the hoof. This is called the frog. This bit you just want to brush away and pick lightly off any dirt. The surrounding areas you want to get right in there and pick out any mud and dirt or stones that might be there and brush away. This is a good time as well to check your horse's feet's conditions. If there's any flakingness of the foot, any white stuff coming off, then this might, or if there's a smell coming away from the foot, this might mean that the horse has thrush. And there are special treatments you can get to deal with this. That's basically a fungi that attacks the foot. And most horses do tend to get it in wet weather. As you can see here, this horse has been shot. So he he's gets seen professionally by a farrier every four to six weeks. A horse needs shoeing every four to six weeks because the foot wears away and is continually growing. As you can see here, the shoe is put on with nails, but you can see the old, ho the old holes where the nails were before. It's very important that you keep up with a horse's uh, foot care because it, without it, it can cause the dam not only damage to the horse's feet, but it can ruin his way of going and cause damage to the tendons and ligaments that run down the back of the leg. So you want to make sure that the hoof doesn't grow too long and then that will cause him to have tendon problems at the back. But also you want to make sure that the barrier doesn't trim his feet too short because again this can cause him to stand too upright. You can also treat the horse's feet and add condition to them using different types of foot conditioner. This can be put on daily depending on the quality of your horse's feet. Some horse naturally have quite good feet so don't need it at all. So just putting this on especially around the top. This bit here is called the coronet band and this is where the hoof grows from. So it's very important that this is conditioned. This type of foot conditioner is more like a moisturiser and goes on and then will dry clear. Other types of conditioner are black or clear, it just depends on the type of product that you get. This put on daily or every other day can just help condition the horse's foot. When you pick out their feet, it's also very important that you do all four. So don't just think that you can do the front feet and he'll be fine. Keep an eye out for when a horse is losing a shoe or if a shoe is loose. You'll need to call the farrier out and make sure that he gets his uh, shoes put back on. Often in the field, the horse can lose a shoe. So every time he comes in, just make sure that the, sh feet, the shoes are on nice and tightly and you can't hear them loose when he's walking along the floor. If you don't have your horse's feet shod, some people like to have them barefoot. This is absolutely fine for horses who aren't working on hard ground, who aren't working on stony ground. But for horses like Chester, who goes on the road quite a bit, or is walking on stones, it's very important that he has the shoes there to protect his feet and stop them from breaking. And basically, it just it keeps him more comfortable and helps support his legs when he's being ridden.